Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're doing what if Naruto went back in time part 3 Let's get into it Wait a wait nigga Now sort of disclaimer I've recorded this video once already and it, my computer completely just restarted mid video and didn't like try to save it or try to recover it at all. It just restarted and everything. I didn't even press restart on my computer. So this is, it really confused me, but yes. So we are, we're going to get into the video. So we we're supposed to be getting into the tune-in exam. So Naruto and his team would appear into uh, would appear at the school, or would uh, well would meet up at the school and could go on their way. Now Naruto would continue walking until Sasuke would decide to confront the tune-in exam, the tunings, and much of this went much to canon. With Sasuke being me stopped by Rock Lee, except for and Rock Lee challenging Sasuke, but except this time Naruto didn't challenge Rock Lee first. He didn't rush Rock Lee, he didn't care, but he sure did laugh when Sasuke got beat by Rock Lee. As he went to Lee and said, good job Lee. As Lee says, thank you. And Naruto says he really needs someone to put some sense into him. And Lee says, thank you Naruto, Naruto-kun. And Lee says, you're welcome Lee. As they move on to the tuning exam, so Naruto, when they would walk in, they would be blasted by killing it. But Naruto will release his own, which would legit dwarf everyone else's. Is there one will, um, you know, be good waiting, even Gara, and they would look at Naruto. So Naruto says, Don't ever try that against me again. So Naruto walks off, releasing his killing intent, and much of this would go much to canon with, um, up until the Beaky point. With, well, except Naruto's not there and everything. So Naruto and Am would go on to sit down, and when he sits down, he will begin to take a nap because he knows that he doesn't really have to answer the question. He just has to stick around for the final question. Now Ibiki would notice this and would decide to let him be to see what game he's playing at. Now he would try to wake up. He would wait Naruto up for tenth question. As Naruto just sits there, Ibiki's just saying to give up. He's continuously telling Naruto to give up. The that ninja don't need um that sh the hidden leaf village don't need lazy children. Not to says that he's not lazy. He just that he's already figured the test out and just wants to ready for everyone else to. Now eventually Biki would give up everything and everyone else would mo most mostly well. Well, everyone um would be shocked to see the true the true thing about the tenth question. So, um, Biggie was about to ask Naruto for, to give an explanation on how he knew about the 10th question. But then, someone would come, a purple blur would, um, well, a purple ball would, a, okay, a ball of human, a human ball, basically, would crash through the window as a banner would come up, show, saying, what the fuck did Enko's banner say? It says, the proctor, Enko Midorashi. As Ibiki would yell at Enko, saying that she's early, earlier than what she's supposed to. As Enko would say, yeah, yeah, Ibiki. She would tell everyone to come on for the second part portion of the tuning exams as they would continue. It should continue in the forest of death, giving their explanations right there and there. As Naruto will mock her in the classroom in front of Ibiki. As Ibiki says, um, thinks no one has the balls to mock Enko. But as I said in the past, when Naruto and Anko have gotten a little bit closer over the time, and since Naruto came back, he's visited Anko and everything again, um, and they've gotten they've gotten closer over time. So, anyways, yes. So after this, Naruto would basically, um, and the team would go on. Now, Anko did throw the kunai at Naruto in the classroom, and it still hit. It still was near that same grass ninja who showed Anko gave Anko a kunai. But this time it didn't scratch Naruto, but Enko disappeared before it could. So she, cause she thought it would have just scratched Naruto. Now, um, moving on, Enko would take everyone to the Force of Death and would then have them sign waivers and get their scrolls. Now Naruto already knowing where, you well, know, basically using Kurama's chakra or actually wearing his mask that allows him to enter Sage mode, 
Well, not allows him, but allows him to hide his sage mode. Which since who um where every team is and who got what scroll. So he, um when Inka will start the um basically will start the second portion of the exam, Naruto would grab his two teammates and would disappear in a bunch of body well not body because with pure speed and appear at the well to Sasuke and Sakura they would just appear at the tower as Naruto disappears again as he begins to fight the sound team that was supposed to attack Sasuke now Dosu and um, Naruto begins to release a lot more killing intent than what he did th um, there forcing them all to the ground as Naruto would then take their scroll and this would um, Naruto would then knock them out or give them concussions and everything, forcing them to wake up, um, which will cause them to wake up, you know, like three, four days later. So Naruto will appear next to his teammates and will open both scrolls. Because, you know, he already knows this. And, well, Iruka would appear. As he would say, that's the... As yes, it only took Naruto around five... Nah, around four minutes to... Three minutes to um, get the scrolls and get to the tower. Since the tuning exam started, Ruka was going to knock them out, but was shocked to see that he was. Um, when he came out, he first took notice of his surroundings to see that you know he was at the tower, which means that a team made it. <clears throat> so Ruka will congratulate the team and they will go on. Now, really, there's really no point in going into the rest of the tuning exams, like of the second portion, like in the forest. So this is where we get into a five day time skip to all the teams meeting up for the preliminaries. Now the Okage would give a speech about um about why the tuning exams was formed and about the will of fire. And the proctor would come and give the same intro um not introduction and would give them the same explanation about them quitting that it wouldn't affect their teams, forcing Kabuto and others to forfeit or to give up right then and there. Now, since Naruto got Sasuke to the tower a lot quicker than normal, he does. Sasuke never got his curse mark. So when it comes time for Sasuke's match, Sasuke was still chakra was still you know drained a lot to the level of when he had the curse mark until he did the Lion's Barrage. So this is where we time skip much to Naruto's match versus Kiba. Now Naruto begins to admit power, but you know, some of the Jonin and the Hokage can feel this, but. Akamaru on the ground with Kiba when Naruto appears feel this and began to whimper and go away from Naruto get uh, back away from him as Kiba says Akamaru you traitor Akamaru begins to whimper and runs away from Naruto as far away from him which is in a corner and and you know huddles up by his, with himself or runs towards the Hokage but it would, it's not that Naruto was emitting malicious power it's that Naruto was emitting power of light um, love, kindness, all those things, not nothing of darkness like Orochimaru does. As Akamaru says that, um, uh, consists that this power dwarfs that of the Hokages. So, Kiba would then decide to do a perform a jutsu called by the name of Suga or Tunnel Wing Fang, which is basically a single version of the Fang over Fang. As Naruto would disappear, but what everyone will shock everyone is when they will see, you know, we've all seen when Kilwa does a little walk thing, and you know, after images appear. Basically that. I mean, this is pure speed, but what will shock the whole Kage the most is that he couldn't see Naruto. All everyone saw was his, you know, his after images. Well, he appeared on the other side, then his after images came, which means that Naruto was moving a lot faster than what any of them could do. As Naruto would then say, sorry about this, Kiba. As Naruto would then, y'all, multi shadow clone Jutsu. As they, some clones appear below Kiba. As they yell out, Uzumaki. Wait, no, no, not that. Naruto, Uzumaki, 2K Barrage. As with one final hit, Kiba is sent to the ground. Knocked out cold. <clears throat> this is where we time skip. Now, after this, the Hokage, well, after this, well, no, we don't really need to talk here, but let's get into the explanation now. The Hokage was really shocked and, wants to, and was going to talk to Naruto after the preliminary is over to see how, where did Naruto, you know, how did Naruto be able to make this 
be many clones because all the joining, you know, no one even there, even Orochimaru, who's described as a as a sound going joining, not since they going in, sound joining is shocked because no one in history has ever been able that they've seen has ever been or heard of has ever been able to produce this many shadow clones, it's, which is why it shocked them to see not, which is why they were you know most shocked, especially because of his speed also. Now Sasuke would be seething in anger because Naruto basically just copied his jutsu, something that only the Sharingan did. But well, his taijutsu move, could because he sees that the um, his his Naruto Uzumaki 2K barrage is based off of the Lions barrage, except with two thousand shadow clones, making it two thousand times more. I said two times, two times more efficient than the Lions barrage, which is performed just by him. <clears throat> he basically, within the hour of him using the Jutsu for the first time, Naruto copied it and improved it 2,000 times and made it 2,000 times better. This will cause Sasuke to be extremely angry. Now, after the preliminaries are over, because most other matches will go much to canon, with Rock Lee, you know, being that, the Proctor will call everyone down to pick who's one to pick a number. Now, the well, actually, one match didn't go the same. Dosu didn't win that match. He actually tied with. It was actually ended up in a double knockout with Choji. But yeah, he would go call the matches. As everyone would draw. As Deji would say one. As Naruto would say three. Gara would say two. As Tamari would say five. Shikamaru would then say six. As Shino says seven. And Kakuro says eight. As Sasuke says four, so he begins to smirk as he says he got Naruto. As though as he gives us the matches in order, as he says, he then says, you know, Nar um not Naruto Neji Hyuga versus Sabaku no Gara, Naruto Uzumaki versus Sasuke Uchiha, <clears throat> Tamari, um Sabaku no Tamari versus uh, Shikamaru Nara. And Conqueror versus Shino Aburame. He would dismiss everyone, but he, um, he was able to appear behind Naruto and will send him to his office, wanting to talk to Naruto. As he was in, asks Naruto, does he have a pro, um, a teacher to teach him anything for the one month of the, the exam? For the one month period for the exams. Now Naruto would tell Hiruzen and no, as Hiruzen would say that he has someone for him and that they just have to wait a couple minutes. But during that time, he would ask Naruto, how much chakra does he have and how did he get so fast? As Naruto says, oh man, I have a lot of secrets that I've been hiding from even you. You can't trust anyone. And I mean, you can't trust anyone with anything anymore. Every piece of information is dangerous, no matter who you tell it to, whether it being your, um, whether it being yourself, your village leader who's not supposed to tell anyone else. It doesn't matter. Information is always going to be dangerous. So I decided to keep it to myself. Susan says he's thinking like a, like a, well, he's basically thinking like a tuning would and would decide that Naruto is definitely going to be promoted to tuning after this. As a, you know, after this conversation ended, a man with white hair would appear. He, as, he was in the shock to see, um, well, you know, shock to see Jiraiya actually didn't come through the window. But Jiraiya caught something out of the side of his eye. Naruto crying. As he would grab Naruto and would nod to Hiruzen. As Hiruzen would nod to and they would, Jiraiya and Naruto would disappear in a body flicker or a, well, Konoha normal body flicker with a puff of smoke and all that. <clears throat> so when they would appear, Naruto would be in the cry and say, "Perry Sage, I missed you." As which was shocked, Jiraiya. As Jiraiya would say, "How do you? Why did you call me Perry Sage? And why did you say you missed me?" As Naruto just realized that if he doesn't play this off, he can legit change time to an ex extreme extent. Because at the moment, he's not ready to tell Jiraiya. So he tells Jiraiya that he knows that he's Jiraiya the Sunny, the legendary Toe Sage. Which is where he got the sage, and he says he knows that Jiraiya writes those books that Kakashi, um, that Kakashi is always reading. 
which is how he got Gerard, a perfect sage. And he then decides to let just just say this one that he knows who his parents are, and that he knows that he's his godfather, deciding to tell Dryad to keep it a secret because he doesn't want that to get out. He doesn't even want to tell the Hokage that he's only told Kakashi and him, and that he's putting that trust in him that he's not allowed to repeat this or record this anywhere. That no matter what, that he needs to put this at the back of his mind and forget, mostly for, forget about it mostly. This is why would be shocked, but would understand, saying, because he also knows that information is dangerous, seeing as how he runs a spy network, which can, which ruins a lot of plans for that, um, that causes for evasions of Konoha. He's ruined a lot of those and everything. <clears throat> so. I'm sorry. So Dryer would then ask Naruto, can he water walk or tree walk? Which Naruto says he could do both. As Jiraiya, you know, heard from Hiruzen, um, Hiruzen sent the Shadow Clone to Jiraiya to get him. But so, he, and Hiruzen told Jiraiya that Naruto had massive chakra reserves. As he says, I want to teach you two jutsus of your fathers. Well, one jutsu, he's Naruto say the summoning jutsu in the Rasengan. Jiraiya's eyes would be wide. He says, you know them too? Naruto says, no. I've gotten this part in the Rasengan, which is a lie. But he would then make an incomplete Rasengan as it would explode. Sending him back. But Jiraiya would catch him before he can hit a tree. Jiraiya says, huh, this would be fun. As he has Naruto sign the summoning contract. And this is where we commence I one month time skip. Now, I'm not, I'm not going into much, too much detail. Like, in the, when I originally recorded this, it was 30 minutes of me going from the, the f part of the, in, the entrance of the Trinity Zen to this part, well, to the start of the finals. Anyways, one month later, not, um, at the start of the Trinity Zen, now, the Hokage would give another speech about the Will of Fire and why the Uchi, um, not the Uchiha. The Chunin exams were um, started and will then congratulate all the fighters for making it this far. As the Pakhtu would then dismiss all those on the field and would then call for Gara and Neji. So, Neji, um, Gara had, um, after when the match started, Gara would send out a sand ten tendril, a tentacle, and it would grab Neji's hand and wrap, and a bunch of sand would wrap around Neji's hand. Now, Neji kind of gave a, um, a speech about fate and how it was God's fate to lose. Now, Neji, after getting his arm broken, would immediately realize that he's not as fast as Lee. He thought he was, but he's not. So, he decides to forfeit then and there and does not care at all that he lost. As he actually saw this, and, you know, it doesn't, and the, most of the, every Hayuga there doesn't care. Because of the fact is that they saw what happened. Without the, you know, Neji's hand, or with his broken hand, Neji won't even be able to do the gentle fist correctly. He will only have one hand to use. Now, the part that breaks the sand, um, away from Gara, um, like how Guy did, he, did, um, disperses the sand from Neji and allows Neji to leave. Now, this would greatly anger, um, Gara, but, you know, he will leave. Now, the part will call for Sasuke, Uchiha, and Naruto Uzumaki. Now, when they don't show up by the deadline, the Proctor's about to, you know, disqualify him. But when the Kazakawa tells him, tells Hiruzen that if he disqualifies the Uchiha or uh, anything, that he's he's going to lose probably a lot of customers because this is what they came to see, to give the people what they want. Now, Naruto, knowing how Sasuke will appear, you know, at the last match, would decide to appear also with Jiraiya and some new clothes. But you guys will see later. It's a new appearance, yet it's an old one. Anyways, <clears throat> Tamari versus Shikamaru. Now, this would go much the canon with Shikamaru giving up because he ran out of chakra, which is not true. He was just extremely lazy. So we could tell from him, well, after, during the start of the invasion. <clears throat> he, used up some, he used up a lot of his chakra, but he didn't run out of it. <clears throat> Now, he did have to use a different strategy than what he did in canon for the reason is Naruto didn't fight Neji. Anyways, Konkuro would give up immediately after um, 
his name is called because he wasn't supposed to show his true puppet techniques. Now, people saw some of them, but he wasn't supposed to show any of his true puppet techniques. The, the invasion was supposed to have started before, um, with Gar versus Neji. Or actually, it was supposed to start when Neji, well, Gar fights Sasuke. Because this is what the Kazekage told him in the, on any off chance versus Naruto. <clears throat> so, Conqueror would give up. Now, this gives Sasuke enough time to show up in a tornado of leaves with Kakashi appearing. They both yell, yo. Kakashi says, are we late? And she says, very. You're lucky, though, because Akage wanted your match pushed back. Or you will both, you and both Naruto will be disqualified. And Sasuke would say, what? He's not here? As everyone will see a shadow, and they will all look up to see a gigantic red frog appear on the ground, holding a shield and a Sasumata. As the toast says, Jiraiya-sama, Naruto-sama, I have to admit I'm quite clumsy. As Jiraiya says, don't worry Gamaken, you can disappear now. As Naruto is basically wearing the same thing, but you know, he hasn't dropped the Genjutsu yet to show his real appearance. Or well, not the Genjutsu, the the um, the transformation Jutsu. As when Gamaken would go up in a puff of smoke, Jiraiya and Naruto will land to the ground, but everyone would notice that Naruto is in a completely different attire. His hair is much shorter. He has a black shirt with orange stripes on the uh, on the arm sleeves. He has orange pants with blue, um, like black Shinobi sandals, except the uh, thing um, that goes around the leg is a lot longer. And they can see that one of his hands is wrapped in bandages and that his headband is not the same one. It's black, but the back of it seems to be an elastic type of headband. Which the Okage would think, why didn't we think of that? <clears throat> That's right, we say, good luck, kid. As Sasuke be seething, as he asked Kakashi why didn't he have him sign his summoning contract. But Kakashi would then tell Sasuke that the um his summoning contract specifically is for the Hatsake clan. That they the dogs won't accept anyone else. And this is that that contract is what made his father famous as the white fang of the leaf. Also because the Hatsake clan are close relatives to the Inuzuka clan. Instead of like the Inuzuka clan, whose animals are were once um, come from a clan of summoned dogs who broke off to live in a real world and met the Inuzukas, the Hatake clan's dogs are the dogs that um, su that that those dogs came from originally. Saying that Sasuke wouldn't have been able to sign it anyway because they only accept Hatakes. And because his father was named the uh, White Fang of the Leaf because um, his aura gave off that of a white dog. The dog with white fur and everything. <clears throat> anyway, Sasuke would then scoff and would tell Kakashi to get out of his sight. Costing Kakashi to roll his eyes and would disappear after giving Naruto a nod and Naruto giving him one back. And this is where we commence the start of Sasuke vs Naruto. Now they will both jump, but well, Sasuke would jump back and will begin going through hand signs. Naruto would jump up to the wall and will begin going, reach for a kunai and hold out his hand. As Jiraiya sees a kunai, but he knows he didn't teach Naruto that jutsu because he could see the Rasengan forming, knowing that Naruto mastered it. As he knows that he didn't teach him that jutsu. As Naruto, you know, then and Sasuke charge at each other. But when they're almost close, Naruto throws a kunai, forcing Sasuke to like bend over a little bit so that the kunai raises past him, like getting a little, a little bit lower to the ground with his back up. But Naruto would disappear in a yellow flash and appear with N1 with having the kunai in hand and would slam the Rasengan into Sasuke's back, leaving a swirl mark. As Naruto then places a seal on Sasuke, which is a anti-seal seal. This doesn't for allow any other seals to be placed on Sasuke. Like, none other. Like, this is actually worked many times for um, Shinobi. Like, in the period when they were for trying to force Jinchur um, Bijus into Jinchurikis, these were created. So, not even a, a Jinchuriki seal or anything like that could be forced onto anyone. <clears throat> So this will release into Sasuke um, basically being incapacitated and the doctors will come out glaring at Naruto 
for touching their chi or something. As a bunch of people would be pissed off because they wanted. Okay, flashback. When they saw Naruto had the form the Rasengan, they were immediately pissed because of the fact is not they believe Naruto killed the fourth Okage to take his jutsus. That you know, because they believe Naruto's the Kaiyubi. So, you know, they, this is what they're believing at the moment. Naruto killed the Brother Kaya to take his Jutsus and all that. And then they, the, um, then when he, he disappears in the Yellow Flash, they believe that he killed him for that. And they saw he had the summoning contract. They believe that Naruto killed the fourth Okage to take all of his Jutsus. And didn't disguise himself as a child or a baby that didn't grow up and, you know, eventually regrow to be the size, to be the QB again. And they wanted, when they saw Sasuke do the Chidori, they were extremely happy, thinking that with this Jutsu, he'll finally be able to kill the, the demon. Now, they were extremely more pissed when the demon, the demon kid, beat Sasuke with the Horatian and everything. So, Jirai would appear next to Naruto, since, you know, technically it's Naruto's turn versus Gar after this. Jirai says, Naruto, I never taught you the Horatian. Naruto leans in and says, Jiraiya, I didn't, I don't know the Horatian. You see, it's just a body flicker that I, I made, well, it's sort of a body flicker that f gives off a yellow flash when I disappear and appear. You know, it's just for theatrics. So Jiraiya smirks and says, you sneaky kid. Fusion is up in Kage with sweating bullets. Even Orochimaru has a sweat job seeing this. As you can see that Fusion is, you know, staring at Naruto and, you know, he's just sweating. Naruto looks at Hirozen and winks at him, causing Hirozen to confirm that Naruto knows. Now, Kakashi knew that since Naruto was from the future, that he already knew. This is when Naruto would then hear a scream and says, Yeah, get him, kid! Naruto and everyone turned to see Enko screaming, Go, Naruto! You know, as I said, Naruto and Enko got extremely close, and during the second part of um, second part when he came back and when he left on his mission. So yes, you know this would shock everyone. Now Sakura, however, is extremely mad, and you know, let's just say you know doesn't feel the same way she felt for Sasuke, but she also doesn't feel the same way she felt for Naruto. Because she believed Naruto is handsome. Anyways, Gara would appear in a um, sand sunshine. She says, "Let's start the match, Uzumaki." As the partner then yells, "Begin!" As he disappears in a uh, well in pure speed. As a bunch of sand was around Gara, Naruto would crack his knuckles and then say, "Easy." As he would disappear, Gara says, "Fast, but." Unlike him, he's a lot faster. As Naruto would then just appear. Now, this was, you know, within a second. Not like Rock Lee's. Would appear and would punch guards. He didn't kill flying. Naruto would hit him up in the air a little bit. Enough for enough set form the Shadow Clone Jutsu seal. Or the multi form. As 5,000 Naruto's appear. Shocking hears it in the Jonin and everyone else a lot more. Because this is even more than what he did in the preliminaries. They believe that Naruto was just holding back against Kiba. Kiba says, I'm glad I didn't fight him with that. As Kakashi says, yeah, Kiba, you're extremely lucky. Sasuke says, I can't copy that Jutsu. Why not? Damn it. Naruto, how far will you get above me? As Naruto then hits Gara with the Uzumaki. Wait, no. Naruto, Uzumaki, 5K Barrage. As with one final hit, Naruto would hit Gara towards the ground. But a, like a pillar of sand would catch Gara and was cushion the blow. As sand, well, this actually caused Gara to, you know, still fall unconscious from the hits. As then, boom, in a burst of sand, a gigantic biju would form. And since Gara's unconscious, before my gigantic Shukaku is I have to pause it because I'm sorry. Anyways, and since this, um since Gar is unconscious, Shukaku already has full control. Now the evasion was starting everyone's putting under Genju to except a select few. Now this doesn't Naruto Shukaku being formed doesn't give the sand team enough time to get Gar out of there, so Gar is still in the stadium. Which Naruto would then be he says, You ready, Kurama? Kurama would clasp his hands as Naruto would too. As a 
but a gigantic energy um, aura of yellow would burst out from Naruto. As Naruto Kurama screamed, as Shukaku has formed a Biju bomb and is shooting it towards Naruto, but he knows that if Shukaku, if he blows the projector away, like same thing with Momoshiki, that it'll you know basically destroy destroy it and kill everyone in the arena, and he doesn't want this. So he, with forming a Kurama who was steadily growing, will push the Biju bomb up for Kurama to hit it with another Biju bomb. But this was the beam form. Exploding it above everyone in a safe distance, not leaving no backlash or nothing. Well, except, you know, powerful gust of wind. As Kurama would then hit Shukaku with the hand right onto his head. Yes, hitting Shukaku on the head, forcing him to the ground. As Kurama would then jump up in the sky because the Junior Zams, the Junior Zams arena can barely even withstand Shukaku. Well, can barely hold the two. So jumping up into the sky, forming a gigantic Rasengan, bigger than Shukaku, covering Shukaku completely, causing Shukaku to break away, because this this sudden shock of pain forced Gara awake and then back out. But that you know caused him to knock out, and along with Shukaku not being able to send Gara anymore, you know, anymore. Well, how do I say this? Anymore, Bijou Chakra or Tell Beast Chakra, any of his chakra. As Naruto says, good job, Kurama. As Naruto then lands towards Gara, as now, Shukaku is now able to at the moment. He wasn't in, at that moment, but now he's able to. As Naruto slaps the seal onto Gara, as Gara wakes up and Naruto gives him their Saiyan talk, no Jutsu speech. But since they're in the arena again, Naruto will knock Gara out. Now, Tamari, Baki, and Konkuro have already been captured. And Naruto sees. He was in fighting and knows that he can't even, not even he can get into that barrier. Yeah, maybe with Kurama's chakra, but he doesn't want to risk it. But he knows that without the old man's death, you know, Kona, um, not without Hiruzen's death, you know, most everything doesn't happen. So Nade doesn't come back. None of that. So he doesn't save Hiruzen. He's not, he doesn't try to save Hiruzen. He goes out to help in the, eva in the evasion. Now, Orochimaru will send a, a clone of his to place a mark on Sasuke. And we'll see the seal on the other seal on Sasuke when the seal doesn't form. After searching over Sasuke because he was knocked out. Now, Orochimaru will remove the seal and will then place a seal onto Sasuke. Yeah, yes, it's all it takes is the removal of the seal because he knows what the seal is. Eventually, it was revealed that this seal helped. You know, get rid of um, not being able to place a seal on someone. But anyways, he removed the seal and will place a um, curse mark on Sasuke, <clears throat> and would um, hold his hand until well, the clone would hold his hand in a ram seal, or until it fully finished forming and was steady, or it uh, was steady, um, was finished forming and complete. Not so Sasuke didn't arrive in pain for too long. Because Orochimaru had to hurry up and leave during the tuning exams and Naruto's timeline. He had to hurry up because he had already exerted too much power and everything. Because he was alerting Ambu to his position and all that. But now he doesn't. As the clone dispels and Orochimaru receives his memories. So we, Naruto will help stop the evasion. Most majority. Gambuta was in sub, um, summit this time. Well, he was Naruto's first um, summon, and Naruto did summon Gamakichi on purpose after uh, after Gamabunta. <clears throat> but yeah, so this is where we time skip to the like a week later after the invasion. Now, Konoha is extremely saddened and is currently raiding as everyone is at an attendance of a mass funeral for those who have died during the invasion, along with the third Kage. So, um, Naruto attends the, um, the, basically attends the funeral, because this time he wasn't able, he still wasn't able to spend more time with Hiruzen. He knows that without Hiruzen's death, a lot of things don't happen. So he just allowed nature to take his course, along with knowing that Hiruzen most likely would have just died a couple years later, again, when pain attacked. That there was no reason for him to just delay his funeral. His death three years later, or he would have died somewhat of an old age, no matter how healthy he kept his body, especially after the toll it would have taken on this invasion. 
during this invasion. So the Sand siblings are called along with Baki and Suno is eventually um after the funeral obviously is um has been told about you know, basically, the Kazekage told Konoha about the Kazekage being dead and were tricked, and they were tricked into invading Konoha. Saying that Orochimaru disguised himself as the Kazekage and told them that they were going to invade Konoha with the help of the Sound Village. So, this is where we will be ending off part three of What If Naruto Went Back in Time. I hope you guys have a good time. Peace and goodbye.